Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Nalo and today we're going to be talking about Paris a lot. We're going to basically cover everything that there is to know about Paris, what I think are the best investments in this case, if you should invest at all really, and I've also invited Zonix and Foxtail to give their opinions on the Pick'ems and who they think is going to win the entire major, so we're going to have that at the end as well if you're still interested in a very researched and analytical view on the Pick'ems this major. All that and more after a quick word from our sponsor, Skins Monkey. This video is sponsored by Skins Monkey. Skins Monkey is a website that you can take all of the skins that you don't want anymore and upgrade them into something pretty cool. Even if the item that you trade for is on a trade hold, it'll be added to your Skins Monkey backpack until it's ready to be withdrawn. When you use code NALO, there's actually two bonuses that you get on the site. The first one is an up to $5 bonus when trading skins, and the second one is an added 5% bonus when you're topping up your balance. And this is on top of the 30% bonus they already give you. And even if you don't have any skins to trade, Skins Monkey actually has daily, weekly, and monthly giveaways that you can enter completely for free with a variety of ways to gain more entries. So check out this great site, Skins Monkey, by using my link in the description below for these extra bonuses. Be sure to check out my Twitter and my Discord server. I do a lot of tweeting these days because I don't have as much time to make videos. And my Discord server is full of extremely experienced investors that can help you all the time. And for events like Paris, we get the news out immediately. All right, starting on this video, we're going to talk about differences from the previous majors because there is one big one that I want to talk about. So in 2021 Stockholm, we actually had team patch packs. In an Antwerp, this actually wasn't carried over. There was no patch packs. And that has also happened with Paris. There is no patch packs. And so as a result, the patch pack investors are actually the ones sitting the most pretty from Stockholm because those did not get reiterated. In terms of declines, obviously these stickers were borderless and they looked very nice. So it was expected that we were going to see some declines for Antwerp and Stockholm. And that absolutely did happen. A lot of the stickers from those two majors did decline quite a lot. The Mouse Hollow being one of the biggest offenders, sitting at $120 or so on the Steam market before the major. And then after Paris Tickers released and we got basically the identical Mouse Hollow, we actually looked at about a 50% drop on the Stockholm Mouse Hollow, so that was pretty insane to see. Antwerp saw some drops as well, not as major, just because obviously they're pink stickers, so they're more rare in the first place and a little bit less elastic than the Stockholm stickers are going to be. And one important note here is that the sticker that I said to invest in the most, the one that I think is the best option from Antwerp, which was the Cloud9 Hollow, that one did not drop at all. Still sitting at about $50, which is where it was at prior to Paris's release. And the main reason for this, obviously, is because Cloud9 did not get reiterated into Paris. And it's also unfortunate, because honestly, I wanted to buy a lot of that sticker if it dipped, and it didn't. Rio also saw about a 25% drop, which was sort of anticipated as well. Even though Rio holds very unique looking stickers, they're not good looking stickers, and so people that are holding on to Rio investments are likely going to dump them when better looking stickers release. It's sort of a superior goods situation. But now that you're caught up on the declines, let's talk about what to invest into for Paris. So obviously, getting this out of the way, because there are some new eyes on CSGO these days, do wait for the sticker sale. Don't buy anything right now when the sticker capsules are still a dollar. We can expect everything to drop by like 75% when the sticker sale happens. Everything's going to become that much easier to obtain, and it's going to make so many people more able to open the capsules, especially in high quantities. Just as an example, if you were to buy capsules right now for a dollar a piece, you could open five capsules for the cost of five dollars. However, if you were to wait to the sticker sale when they're 25 cents a piece, you could now open 20 capsules for five dollars. So if you're looking to invest into Paris, which I absolutely do recommend, and I'll get into that a little bit more in depth in a second, wait to the sticker sale, you'll be able to get a lot more bang for your buck. Okay, so why is Paris going to be a good investment? Now this is a matter of my personal opinion, obviously, this is just what I would expect given the factors that I know of, but the reason that I think Paris is still going to be a successful investment, despite a large narrative going around about the overinvestment that could happen with Paris. Now yes, there is going to be a ton of people buying into Paris and investing into it. There's going to be so many storage units that are now filled with Paris items. These are extremely good looking stickers. Arguably some of these stickers are the best iterations of that form of a sticker that we've ever had before. Look at Fluxo for example, the Fluxo Hollow is absolutely insane. Arguably just a straight up better version of 9Z. The Apex Hollow is super interesting and super unique. Probably one of the best orange hollows we've ever had. The Pain Hollow has this massive spectrum of like 15 colors on it that we haven't really seen before. Although these stickers do look like copy and paste at first glance, there is a lot of unique factors to them. 
that could help them to succeed long term as an investment. So I went into this in detail on a Twitter thread and you can read that if you want greater detail on this aspect. But essentially what it comes down to is two different factors. The destructive power, basically how many of the capsules and stickers get destroyed and their supply over time, and how the stickers look. Now obviously these stickers look very very good. There's already going to be a large amount of demand behind them and there's going to be some high prices on the market for some of those really prime hollows, which as a result is going to make people want to gamble on the capsules so that they can have a chance to get those high expensive hollows. But the main thing to consider here with overinvestment is is the buying power going to outweigh the overinvestment? And I can absolutely say that it is. With 1.5 million daily active players on CSGO, there is going to be a lot of people buying into this major, but there's going to be an equally large amount of people buying these stickers to craft them onto their weapons and essentially take them out of their unapplied supply entirely. And looking at case unboxing numbers from the previous months, there's going to be an unstoppable force. And this buying force is only going to grow in time. This is the last major we have of CSGO, and the first CS2 major isn't for a while after CS2 releases, which means when CS2 releases, which is coming up in about a month or so, there's going to be a even larger amount of people, a vastly larger amount of people joining the game, looking to invest and buy stickers, and pair of stickers are going to be the most recent option. And very likely, they'll be out of the game by that point, so people are only going to be able to buy the aftermarket. Sure, a buying force of 1.5 million is pretty large, but imagine a buying force of 2 million players, or 3 million players. The amount of overinvestment could be insanely high, but it's not even going to matter when compared to how many people are going to be destroying the supply of these stickers in the long term. Now again, that's my opinion, that's what I think is going to happen, and, I, and I've been wrong before, so make your own decision but that's just how I see things. Well, let's talk specific stickers that I think are going to be good to look towards. First and foremost, I think Apex Hollow is going to be a really good option. Like I said, this is probably one of the best orange stickers we've ever had, up there with the likes of Vox. The sticker has a very unique hollow effect that you can't really see when you're just looking at it in game. But when you actually craft it onto a weapon, you can see that this thing has a much wider array of colors than it immediately shows. Here's a craft that Void posted on Twitter that I think shows it off really well. The next hollow that I would look towards is going to be the Pain Hollow. I think a lot of people are going to be looking towards this one because there's just an insane spectrum of colors on the paint hollow. It's very unique. We haven't really seen it before. I still think this one's going to be a prime investment. And for an underrated pick, this one is going to be the Gamer Legion hollow. Now the thing about the Gamer Legion hollow that I think a lot of people are overlooking is that it doesn't actually look like it's in spec in game. So when you inspect the Gamer Legion hollow in the Paris storefront, it looks very similar to the Liquid hollow from Stockholm 2021. But when you actually apply this to a weapon and take it in game, everything changes. This sticker has like this really cool Miami hollow hollow effect. That reminds me a lot of the Riptide Surf Shop Miami hollow effect, and that's a very, very popular one, as you can see. So I think the Game Religion hollow is extremely underrated, is going to be one of the better ones to go for long term. And I think long term it's going to surpass a lot of the other stickers in its same capsule. And of course you have some generic picks like the Furia hollow, or the Navi hollow, or the Mouse hollow. But those are the, some of the specific stickers that I wanted to highlight initially, because I think those ones are really good and somewhat underrated. A bit of a weird side note here as well, but the ITB hollow and the Greyhound Hollow also have a very strange like fire and ice effect where they look red on one end and then blue on the other end. Which I think is cool and very interesting. We'll have to see how that kind of shapes up as time goes on, because they are weird stickers for other reasons, particularly the Greyhound logo not being very popular, and also the ITB logo being very small. But uniquely for fire and ice type crafts, or red and blue crafts in general, which there are many, those should be pretty popular options for crafting. Beyond that, not a lot more to say. I've given you some investment recommendations. I've shown you what some of the stickers look like in game. We've talked about some of the declines from previous years. The only other two things I want to touch on are the passes and then Stockholm and Antwerp as an investment right now. Now, obviously Stockholm and Antwerp dipped a lot, but I think right now is an interesting time to buy into them because they've lost so much value so quickly and have kind of started to stagnate now at this new price. So there are a lot of people considering buying into Stockholm and Antwerp at this point. There are a lot of very good looking Stockholm and Antwerp stickers that were not reiterated into Paris and are very cheap right now. Take a look at those, see what you think, and maybe that's going to be a decent investment prospect. Any final note, the viewer passes. Now, unfortunately, they did increase the price of viewer passes and the souvenir passes, and I think it was a very unfortunate move of Valve. But as per usual, the viewer passes should still be a very safe option for investing if you're not really into the whole riskier capsule type thing. You can always just buy viewer passes and you'll have a pretty safe investment long term. For comparison, this is the Stockholm viewer pass currently, and this is how much it was 
was initially. So keep that in mind as well. I'm going to go ahead and head out. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, guys, for the best CS2 investment tips anywhere else on YouTube. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like the video to help me out. It's absolutely free. Costs you absolutely nothing. And be sure to check out my Discord server and my Twitter account in the description below. And check out Skins Monkey for some new skins to craft on. I'm going to turn it over to Zonix and Foxtail to talk about the pickums, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace. 3-0, I believe I have fours. Yep, fours have been on a roll recently. I firmly believe that they have the right mentality going for them because they've been just winning, winning, winning recently. I think they're a big threat, but again, it's major and anything can happen. Oh three, I don't want to. I don't want to throw this team under the bus, but I just I, I don't have faith in uh, Fluxo at the moment. I have uh, Monty going in. I have G2. Kind of a surpriser in uh, NIP. I think NIP should make it in. I have Face Clan, Liquid, and I've been fencing between OG, Ents, and uh, and Maus. I have OG, and I think Ents are going to make it in as well. It's nothing against Complexity. I think that they're a really good roster, but the inexperience is hindering them. Pain Gaming hurts because they have been on a roll. For a 3-0, any of these teams can make it. Okay, any of them. This is gonna be the toughest major period, but I'm going Monty. They have every single bit of momentum to make it 3-0. There is nothing else I could say. You could put FaZe Clan 3-0 and I fully respect that. You could have G2 3-0 and I fully respect that. You could have Greyhound 3-0 and go completely insane. For 3 it's two teams. I switch between Mongols or Fluxo. And I honestly think Mongols are too good of a team roster-wise than Fluxo are currently. And Fluxo was in NA. Asia has had their fair share of strengths, a couple of weaknesses, but I think Asia is just a little bit better than Fluxo currently. The Shocker as well, you could have FaZe Clan 03 and I wouldn't even question you on that, straight up. For my picks, 4s, G2, Ents are safe enough in. I think so. I think Gamer Legion have enough to get in. I think OG have enough to get in. Miles have enough to get in. I think these are unsafe picks fully okay you can have ninjas fully in i respect that apex are strong as well the last pick and i am doing this for you hack it is greyhound there's eight teams that could get in there's eight the 3 0 is the most riskiest phase can still get in but they're the, ri they're the riskiest to get in phase i have the least confidence in because one they went 0 3 in rio and two they barely got even in in the first place versus big clan and cloud nine they couldn't even make it in on the regular rmr qualifiers they needed the last chance to either rops shows up or phase bust out yeah na qualifier it's because it's na na not available there's no one there that's good i say that flom love you if you watch this i watch you flom um team that wins the whole thing phase at five navi at four fury at three g2 at two and heroic at one right now i'm giving heroic the nod as the favorites for the winner yeah adian's been on fire that whole team is meshing very well one the best rookie team to possibly win the major is nine i honestly want a rookie team to win this major other than that i'm going to go with heroic for two reasons they have made champion stage on two different segments with Rio and with IEM, and they failed both times. This is the time where they do not falter. Heroic had the most solid roster that I see. So that was Zonix and Foxtail, two of the biggest names, at least in my server, for major predictions. They're incredibly intelligent. They've done a ton of research and analytics into these majors, and they've worked on their pickums a lot. Be sure to check out their channels. I'll have links to both of them in the description below. See you guys.